hello everyone welcome back to a new vlog i hope you're all doing well i haven't picked up my camera and vlogged for what feels like forever um i've just been really out of the loop with vlogging and i don't know why i think it's one of those things where when you're not in a routine with it you just you really fall out of the the swing of vlogging so i'm picking up my camera today i'm gonna vlog for the rest of the week and then i'm back in the swing ready to go on holiday at the end of next week because i really want to vlog in cyprus um so yeah i just want to get back into the swing with things but today is tuesday and i've got a bit of a just work from home day today i've already filmed some youtube content i've edited some videos i've just been planning for the week so it's been quite a productive day. It's actually pitch black. It's so dark today. It's been on and off raining. It feels very autumnal and cozy. So I'm not that mad about it. I am in terms of shooting because I've got some jobs to film and I need the sunlight. So that's quite annoying, but it's nice to feel quite cozy in here. I've got a call with my manager in a couple of hours. So that'll be good. So I hope you enjoy this vlog. I'm not sure what is going to happen, really. I'm just going to have a nice chilled vlog, bring you along and give you an insight into my week. This has been my desk set up today. I've got the laptop, the computer. I've got it all going on. I've got my diary out. Literally everything is going on. But I love sitting here and just getting stuff done. It's so satisfying. I've got my to-do list up on the screen. I don't know if you can see that. I always write a big list of things to do to tick off and it's just so helpful it really keeps me on track and staying productive today's outfit for working from home is nice and comfortable but quite put together it's this dress from fourth and reckless which is just a really fine knit it's really lovely actually it's really soft comfortable but i do feel quite put together when i wear a dress and then obviously i've got my slippers on these are from primark they were only eight pounds and i absolutely love them I don't think this dress is in stock anymore, but I'll try and link a similar one down below if I can find one because they're just knitted dresses, are so great. They're such a go to option for me, just like working from home, so easy to wear. Okay, hair has gone up. I am just about to go through all of my summer stuff. When I moved house in January, I actually got rid of it, sounds really echoey in here, really strange. I actually got rid of loads and loads of old summer stuff that I had honestly had since I was about 15 and it just, it had to go. I really had to get rid of it. Um, I also have, I don't know about you, but I'm obsessed with children's snacks. Do you remember these animal biscuits? They're like chocolate and biscuit. I love these like little snack bags. These are my favorite. So I'm fueled by animals, I'm ready to go. I'm going to go through all my summer stuff and just pull out the things that I want to take with me so I can then go through it properly and see what I don't have, what I want to add, any new bits that I need so I don't go crazy and end up having way too much stuff. Because I do have quite a lot of nice summer bits. It's more just like I need a couple of evening dresses and a couple of like day things like bikinis and I don't have any of those little like tie ups to wrong things and I'd love some of them. So let's get into it. <laughs> Wednesday today, I was about to say Tuesday. Wednesday, I am just about to leave to go and pick up my car. I am so excited. I am a little bit nervous because I have never driven on my own before and um, today will be the first time I drive on my own in my new car, drive it back from the garage. My mum is um, just gonna drive me there and then I will drive back. And then I'm also driving to get my hair done later. So I've actually left my hair straight um, because I'm going to get my extensions refitted. So I just like to leave it straight so that you can see like the length and everything clearly. Whew. I feel like I need to just breathe and not be nervous. It's gonna be fine. I know how to drive. I don't need to overthink it. It's gonna be fine. Um, but I am very excited to get my car. I can't believe it's actually happening as well. It feels very surreal. Um, actually, I am going to get my 
Jack bought me this um, car air freshener for Christmas and it's from Diptyque and I absolutely love it. So I want to put this in my car. So I might do that um, later when we get back because I, you know I love Diptyque. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing this Under the Stories dress today, just like a long um, wrap dress. Nice and airy, easy, throw on. So let's go and get my car. I don't know how much I'm going to vlog because I'm going to feel so overwhelmed. Um, but I will try to vlog a little bit if I can. And I will see you when I see you. Do you want to get out and then I'll... Oh no, I'll... Okay, we've just arrived to Mercedes. And um, I'm just about to pick up my car. So I will try and show you it. If I feel too awkward, I won't. And I'll just show you when we get home. <laughs> Hello everyone. Okay, so I haven't vlogged for a little while. Um, it's now two o'clock. I'm just about to go in to get my hair extensions refitted, but I'm in my car. I'm so excited to finally have a car. Loads of you were asking what car I got um, and if I was vlogging. So I thought I would just quickly vlog now before I go in. So I got a Mercedes A-Class. It's black. It's so nice. This was always like my dream car to have um, when I passed my test and I absolutely love it so I couldn't be happier I'll give you a little um mum's with me today she gave me moral support for parking because I'm so nervous about parking but luckily I got a really good space and I literally just went straight in so it's fine um so here's kind of like what it looks like inside if you haven't seen it before it's an AMG line so it's quite sporty but yeah it's lovely I love it I've got my everything connected um the guy in mercedes ed was absolutely amazing and he like connected everything for me so it's all done so yeah i have a car now amazing so i'm gonna go in and get my hair extensions refitted it's literally gonna look exactly the same um it still does look orange on the end i just need to get them um refitted higher up because they've dropped down quite a lot so yeah i'm gonna go do that and then i will be going back home again i'm back home now and um i got my extensions fitted looks so red in this light from these lights but i promise it's really not that orange but i just got her to trim it a little bit so it's feeling nice and fresh i promise it's not that orange um but i'm just putting my air freshener in my car jack got me this um diptyque one for christmas <laughs> and um i haven't used it yet so i i'm just trying to figure it out it's the figure figure scent i think i've got this in a candle and i love it um so i'm just trying to figure out how i oh ah it smells absolutely insane honestly it smells so good but it's all in french so i've been trying to figure out how to right where should i put this then maybe on the middle one Oh, I don't know if that fits on my... Oh my god, it fits. Look, how cool is that? Oh my god, I love it so much. I love this car. I'm so happy to have my car. Yay! Okay, all done. Let me take clear up this rubbish and go inside. Good morning. Are you coming to do a Pilates class with me? Today is Thursday and I've just spent the morning, you would have just seen, I did a Pilates class with Bryony. I've been getting loads of questions on Instagram about Bryony's classes. Um, if you go on your app store, you can download her app, I think it's Pilates by Bryony. And then you can see kind of like her memberships and the pricings and everything like that. That's probably the best way to find out information, I think. Um, but I absolutely love her. I love... Her classes, the formats of her classes, they're really calming, but they are tough. And you can kind of um, pick and choose what 
level of strength you want to do you can add equipment it's very kind of tailored to what you want to do and she does a lot of um like upper body only lower body so you can really mix and match so i love it it's really good and it's so easy by the way this isn't sponsored she does give me um i do actually have a pr kind of um access to the app so i don't pay for it but i 100 will when it runs out because i love it so much and it's just so worth it. I don't really love going to the gym because I don't, all I do is like, I go on the running machine and that's it. So it's not really worth it for me, but the classes are amazing. And I don't really have classes that I would want to go to where I live. If I lived in London, best believe I'd be going to Reformer every single day. I've just um, used my Dyson on the large barrel just to create like a really subtle, natural wave done my makeup i'm still wearing my pilates outfit which is literally as you know leggings always they're my favorite and i've just got this little bra from primark i love these they're so great and i've done a big clean of the apartment so i'm all ready to shoot later i've got a brand shoot at the apartment which i'm very excited about so we're going to be doing that later this afternoon slash early evening to get the best light possible um i've done all my washing and I am now just about to film a video for YouTube, which I don't know if you would have already watched. I think it, I don't think you will have watched it yet. It's coming on Thursday, I believe, if my schedule is right in my brain. So I've just been planning my outfits for that. I always lay them out on my bed, so I'm all prepared. I've set up my tripod. I will film that, and then I can sit down and edit and get that all ready to go. Um, and then I've got a good few hours to get on with some admin before shooting later. I am just about to make my breakfast. It is actually 10 to 12, so it's a bit late, but um, I thought I'd show you what I'm having for breakfast at the minute. I absolutely love having this Greek yogurt. I always get this on a cardo, and I got some raspberries as well, so I'm going to add those in. And I just got this new granola, which I haven't tried before from Prep, but I really love those little pots where you get like um, yogurt, granola, there's also like a mango one, I think. And I'm guessing it's this granola, so I'm gonna give this a go and see what it's like. Okay guys, I finished filming my video and I've just been sat here waiting for the sun to come out because I need to shoot and I've left the whole afternoon free so that um, this campaign brand shoot that I'm doing, I can just kind of play it by ear and just literally wait for the sun to come out, shoot while the sun's out and then if the sun goes behind the clouds, I can just wait for the sun to come out. Um, so... What I'm going to do now, I've already done my hair and makeup, it's all ready. I might just touch up a little bit before we start. But I am going to style all the pieces. So the brand that I'm working with, this is kind of through Monday, my content creation business. So I create content for brands to use on their social, their e-com website, whatever they want to use it for. And they, the brand will send me the pieces and then I will shoot it and return the pieces and they have their content super easy and it's a really good way i think for brands kind of like the idea of me starting monday was to make the process of creating content and getting content as a brand much smoother and much easier um especially for startups independent businesses small teams it's much easier to have a like a one-stop shot i will plan the shoot especially if it's like a campaign shoot on location or something like that i literally do everything start to finish sorry i'm going like lower and lower and lower <laughs> um so yeah basically monday the studio that's my business i will leave a link below in case um any brands are watching and want to book in a shoot i'm so excited to be doing another shoot at the apartment because i feel like i haven't really utilized the space much yet i've done a few brand shoots a few campaigns but 
not tons this year so i'm very excited to be doing another shoot and i'm going to use all my gorgeous backdrops all my lovely furniture and i'm just very excited so i'm going to go and style up some pieces get some accessories out see if anything needs ironing steaming and just crack on and get going okay guys i have finished shooting it's five o'clock now that was quite a long shoot actually i think it was about three hours in total um so yeah very pleased that is all done i actually just picked up a parcel from downstairs from nasty gal i haven't ordered from nasty gal for ages like a good year or two but my friend georgia gets some amazing pieces from there and she said that the quality has really improved so i thought i would give it a go and order some bits for my holiday i don't know whether to show you in this vlog maybe i'll just unbox it with you and then in my recent videos soon you will see them all styled up um yeah let's do that okay i'm just sat on the floor i hope you can see me maybe if i pull the curse in a bit is that better the sun is like shining through but let's go through the parcel together So I basically wanted to get some bits for my holiday because I really don't have a lot of summer stuff anymore. Um, I haven't been on holiday for so long, on like an actual holiday. I've been away for work, but not on an actual holiday trip. So I needed loads of like daytime beach pool type things. So let's go through it. I'll link all these pieces down below as well in case you wanna check anything out. So this is obviously a first impressions as well. First thing I got was this little sarong because I've never owned a sarong and I didn't really realize how functional they are. They're so handy. So I got this gorgeous linen one. Oh my God, this is so soft. Um, it's a really gorgeous linen shade, just like super, super neutral, really soft. I got this in the size small and it's got a little tie at the side. So I'm thinking I can wear that over bikinis and stuff really nice for the beach and the pool and things like that and then i also got another sarong and i absolutely love this one this is kind of what made me do the order because i saw this online and was like oh my god i love it so this is black and it's got this kind of cream tassel all down the front absolutely love it this is actually a wrap i think yeah so it wraps comes in at the front and then wraps over and then you tie it around at the side that is so gorgeous oh my god i absolutely love that that is gonna look so nice with a bikini i got this one in a size six i think like i said i'm gonna do a full video on all my day outfits and then i will also do one for all my night outfits as well so if you want to see that then stay tuned because it will be coming in the next week or so okay then i wanted to get something to just like throw on over my bikini with shorts or something that wasn't too heavy so i saw this little cover up um so cute really really perfect just to throw on like a little blouse i thought this would be quite good to just chuck on over shorts or in the evenings when we're sat by the pool in the villa and it's, it's not so hot i just thought this would be really nice or if we're going for lunch or something i just want to chuck something on over my bikini love it really cute i got this in a size six as well okay and then i just got a couple of bikinis because I got rid of all my old bikinis and because I just keep them for years and years and years and years until they are so worn, stained with sun cream, tanning oil, they're faded. So I just said to myself, right, I need to get some new bikinis. I wasn't sure what size to get. So I went for a, I think I got a, yeah, I went for a size eight. So I hope these fit me, but I just got a super plain black triangle bikini, literally so simple um, because I actually don't own one. And then I also got this black one because I thought it just looked really nice. It's kind of like um, cup details, tying at the front. It's got a halter neck, which you can obviously let down when you're sunbathing. So yeah, I thought that was quite cute. And then I got the matching bottoms. They actually, it actually came as a set, which is so good. Um, and that's, they're quite nice. They've got little black details on the sides. I don't know if you can see this. I'm really sorry if you can't. And then I got this dress because we're gonna do, because we're staying in a villa, we're going to do a couple of evenings that are like planned dinners. Sorry if this lighting is so annoying. 
Okay, I've just moved you down a bit, so hopefully that light's not so annoying now. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do a couple of like planned dinners at the villa. We're gonna do a white party and we're doing an extra night as well. So I will obviously vlog it all and show you all my outfits and stuff. Um, but just like something a bit fun to do. So this is the dress I'm thinking of wearing for the white night. It's like this neoprene. I saw this on Georgia. She's got it in black and she looked absolutely unreal. So I got it in the white. Um, strapless, it's this really like squishy memory foam material strapless and then at the bottom it's got this insane like meringue detail this looks so nice oh my god so that is what i got from nasty gal i'm gonna put this all away clear up all this rubbish and then i'm gonna just do a little bit of editing get this content ready to send over um i want to get that over like by tomorrow morning um and then hopefully jack will be home and i'm gonna make chicken satay for dinner which is like our favorite dinner so i'm very excited about that Okay guys, I'm in the kitchen now and I am just about to start making my peanut satay sauce which I use to make my chicken satay. It's so, so easy. Um, I literally just use coconut milk, honey, a little bit of oil, garlic clove, soy sauce, curry powder and peanut butter and that's literally it. I'll leave the recipe below with the measurements and stuff in case you want to know. I've also just realised that my camera has been on the wrong focusing setting i always have it on the face tracking so i'm always in focus and i've had it on the wrong setting for the last few videos so i'm so sorry that it keeps going out of focus i've now figured out why so anyway i'm gonna put a podcast on and make this and leave my chicken to marinade before i cook it it's quarter to six so i probably won't make this for another hour or so when jack is home and yeah let's get the cooking today i'm just about to head out to get my lashes done i'm going to get lvl um but i thought i'd just show you what i'm wearing today because it's not like super warm but it is sunny so i've gone for my and other stories jeans i can't remember what these jeans are called but i will link them below i just cut a little bit off the end because they were just a bit too long for me but i really love these they're such a nice fit then i have a little tank from sundar bay i really love this because it's super thick and then I've actually got this jacket, which I love so much. I bought this from Zara, I think it was last year. And I've honestly worn it so, so much. I think it was such a good purchase. New YSL bag, and I've just done super natural makeup. Um, I look like, very strange, because I've got no eyelashes. But yeah, time to head off. So I've had my lashes done. They absolutely look incredible. Um, my face is a little bit red actually. My eyelid here is really sore, but look how incredible they look. I can't believe these are my own eyelashes. I had a tint and I had them lifted. Oh my god, I'm absolutely obsessed. My face is a little bit red just from where they have like the stickers on. Um, also, I'm so happy because I got to the car park and I was so nervous about parking because I haven't really parked, like not during my lessons. Um, and I was really nervous to park, like just normally, you know, because when you do your lessons, you have to park, like pull up alongside and do all of that stuff. Obviously, you don't have to do that in normal life. You just, you just park. Um, and Jack always says to me, like reverse park, because then when you're driving out, it's so easy. You literally just drive off. So anyway, I was really nervous about it. I was actually up all night worrying about it. I don't know why my brain does that. I've been feeling so anxious this week for some reason. Um, but I reverse parked so well. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so yeah, I parked. I got a really good space on the end. I spent ages like reverse park. It didn't even take me that long. I let a few cars go past because I wanted like to have time to park. And now it feels so much better. So I've had my lashes done. I also just popped into the hairdressers because although I did just get my extensions refit, I'm just not happy about the colour. And my hairdressers that I was going to before is just so far away. And it takes me like nearly an hour to get there and an hour to get back. And it's just not that feasible anymore. Whereas this one is literally a three minute drive from my house. 
so i just popped in for a consultation to get a new set of extensions a little bit longer and i'm also going to get a toner put on to just really get rid of all that warmth and get it back to like a really nice ashy brown so i'm so happy because i've just booked that for wednesday so that means that i will have fresh hair ready for holiday and i'm so excited she also said that the reason the hair is going quite orange like i don't know if you can see that look how orange that is she said oh my air freshener has fallen off she said it could be sun cream she said if you're wearing sun cream it reacts with the hair extensions and it discolors them and she said it does fade after like lots of washing and i was like oh my god i was never told that before so now i'm gonna be so strict like not touch my hair when i put sun cream on because i don't want to ruin it so yeah i'm really hot it's boiling in here so i'm gonna make my way back home see my mummy and then we are gonna um head off to blue watch i think and do a little bit of shopping and just have a nice girly day um because i kept today free so that i could have a nice friday with her and yeah okay i didn't vlog much when we were in blue water because i literally didn't have time to pick up my camera but i will show you everything that i picked up tomorrow um i've just quickly got changed put my reese trousers on and this me and m jumper because we're gonna go to the beach and have some dinner and just sit at the beach so i've put some rosé in here blanket jumper and we're ready to go